I'm really intrigued by this trend of quiet quitting. So I want to share a few of my cues to help establish a better work life. So if you don't know what quiet quitting is, it's basically employees doing the bare minimum in order to achieve a better work life balance. And it's different for different people. For some people, it means simply not answering emails and text messages after working hours. For others, it means not doing any more than what their job description outlines. First of all, quiet quitting is in part a result of COVID because now we don't have any boundaries from our workplace and our home life. Our geographic location doesn't change for some of us because of COVID, we're working at home. And some employers require you to continue to work or they don't respect the boundary or they don't see the boundary or they don't honor the boundary or they just think that you should have no boundaries. <laughs> so whatever the case may be, my first cue is to help you to understand the importance of establishing boundaries. All right, if you haven't done this, I want to strongly recommend that you do this today. All right, so let me share with you from my experience what I have done for years. I've always had boundaries. And in the very first interview, I established clearly with the potential employer what my boundaries are. Because I don't want to waste their time right i don't want to set up expectations that no matter how much you pay me you can always reach me i'm always available at any time that's just not true right and i tell them very explicitly here are the times that i refrain from working from friday sundown until saturday sundown i do not work and i tell them why because during those times and anybody with common sense would know this that's when i rejuvenate recharge I'm creative, I spend time with my family, I do community service, I go to church, I learn new things. And all those things, they make me the person that I am. And the employer will benefit from that and it will positively impact my work performance. Now, if they encroach upon those things, they disrupt those things, or a pattern of behavior is established that will not allow me to do those things consistently, then I tell them it's not gonna be a good fit. Right from jump. You can't pay me to be the person I am. This is a personal choice. This is part of my DNA. This is how I want to live my life. And I'm very clear, I'm transparent. And it's a positive conversation. I don't try to make it adversarial or negative, a deal breaker. I'm very clear. Now, when I'm in the work environment, I give my level best. I perform at my highest level. If they honor that boundary, I go all out and I make it crystal clear that I'm willing to do whatever it takes to perform at my very best because they respect that boundary. Now, I understand life is not a straight line. So, you know, you may have just recognized I need to create some boundaries in my life. Well, what I would suggest is that you have a conversation with your manager. Be honest, be explicit, be clear. And if they're not willing to honor that, then you need to make some changes. Again, for me, it's about establishing that in the beginning. And if things change in my life, I just communicate. And hopefully I have a good enough relationship with my employer. If I've been working for them for a while, that they will understand it, especially in this day and age, we have to deal with the stress and anxiety and all the things that are happening as a result of COVID and many other things. Anybody in their right mind, any reasonable person will understand this. The second cue that I wanna share with you today is the importance of establishing your purpose. Really understanding your purpose. Now, when it comes to purpose, there are three types of people. There are people who know their purpose and they fulfill it. They do what they are supposed to do. Then the second person is an individual who they know their purpose, but for whatever reason, they don't do it. They don't execute. Maybe it's money, maybe it's time, maybe they're lazy. Whatever it is, they don't do it. So they know what to do, but they don't do it. The third person, they don't know what to do. They haven't discovered it. They haven't taken the time to understand their unique characteristics. And so consequently, they're going through life living 
someone else's purpose, fulfilling someone else's dream. And this causes stress. And it doesn't matter how much money you make. It doesn't matter your education. It doesn't matter your work experience. If it's not fulfilling your purpose, you will never be satisfied. And I have talked to many people who are of advanced age and they experience regret when they do not live their purpose. Do you hear me? I'm just trying to encourage you to understand the importance of really defining what your purpose is right now. It's never too late unless you're at the end of your life. And if you're not at the end of your life, you have time to discover your purpose. Now, here's why this is important because you know, life can be stressful and working on a job can be stressful. But if you're working at a place that's in alignment with your purpose, at least it's going to help you to manage the stress better. At least you feel good about going to work. So the third cue I want to share with you is making sure you take time to rest. So even if you, let's say all things are going to consider, you, you're working your purpose, you have established healthy boundaries, you need to take time to rest. And here's what I mean by rest. You need to have specific times when you stop thinking, you stop working, you stop doing all these other things. And for me, at a certain time of the evening, I don't look at news, I don't talk about things I need to fix, I don't even think about it. I just stop. I play a certain type of music. I have a certain pattern of behavior that sets me up for my mind to rest and my body to rest. I don't answer text messages. My phone, it, it automatically uh, turns on that do not disturb. You have to give your mind some rest. And I don't care where your geographic location is, okay? Because it's all about your sanity. It's all about your peace. It's all about living a quality of life that brings you joy and harmony. And so rest is really important. Listen, those are my three cues. I'm Stephen Garner, helping people to achieve excellence in their personal and professional life. These are my cues for living a great life. Listen, take your cues from me and live a great life. Next cue.